This is Carl at National RV Detroit and I'm going to walk you through this 2018 Sandpiper Model 378 FB. Okay. I'm on the door side of the trailer, moving towards the rear. So down here as the sign says, you've got an LP quick connect to hook up LP2. Right underneath there. Hopefully you can see that okay. Okay. Um, then here we have an outside kitchen and uh, entertainment. So you got a TV, a refrigerator, and of course running water. So you have this quick connect hose that goes with the quick connect fitting for LP to hook up a, uh, a grill generally or a cooktop, whatever. Okay, so moving forward, this is just a spray port, you have a sprayer, this is obviously uh, 110 AC, you got speakers, a basement, um, apparently you have a, a um, backup camera installed, we'll go over that with you, let's move to the other side of the trailer. Pounders that here you got a uh, hydraulics for your your self-leveling system. Keep in mind that uh, this does have a, a six-point self-leveling system on it, which we'll get to in just a second. Hold on one second. Excuse my camera work. This is pre-wired for a generator. I believe, yes, yes, pre-wired. Um, two 30-pound tanks here with an automatic changeover regulator. Three batteries here. So you got a power inverter here to invert power to um, from a 12-volt DC to 110. AC, you got two, batter two batteries wired together as one big 12 volt battery, so it doubles the storage capacity. Still got a tw 12, volt, 12 volt DC output. Okay, that is your water heater. The switches to operate are inside. Uh, the drain is, is outside here. Keep in mind that uh, you always want to make sure there's water in the tank before you ever uh, turn on any energy source. Okay. Okay, so this, this is for your auto level outside. The directions for it are, oh, let's see, they don't have them stuck anywhere. It must be uh, probably inside in the packet. So anyway, this is pretty straightforward. You can auto level, you can go to automatic, things like that. But you'll be able to operate this from the inside too, and there's going to be more information available in there. Uh, so I'll show you that when we get inside. This is the kill switch for your battery. So, off and on, okay, this is your water uh, area, you have a filter canister with a filter and a wrench here, um, your dump valves are here, always dump the black first and the gray because it cleans things out better, you have uh, two bathrooms in here because you got two black tank flushes, so after you dump the, the black tanks you can hook a hose up to that keep the black tank valve open, turn on the water and it'll spray the inside of your tanks out. You got your city water fill here and then you have your uh, fresh water demand tank here. So if you have a, if you go into a campground that does not have plumbing on the campsites, you can pre-fill your tank here, take the water with you and use your pump to pump it. Okay, and these are just coax through for satellite and cable, that sort of thing. And uh, this is how you bypass your water heater when you're winterizing it. Okay, right now it's in normal camping mode. All right. 50 amp cord, 30 feet long. So this is a 50 amp system. Uh, you have a ladder, so which is good because you, everybody who owns a trailer has to inspect the roof every, every 90 days. Um, so every three months you're going to go up on the roof or have somebody go up there, look around, make sure there's no cracking or separation. 
If you see anything like that, you're going to uh, have it taken care of immediately. That's why you're inspecting it, just to make sure. Also, that's your backup camera there. Um, this is your grill. It swings out and around, and you'll use that, that LP line that I showed you. You connect it there, and you'll be able to connect. Put it down this way here. Connect the, uh, the LP to the grill and use your grill right next to your refrigerator and sink. It's just kind of neat. Okay, so let's go inside. You have power awnings also. One, one huge power awning. Okay. So right when we get in the door, um, this is your control panel, obviously. Um, your safe level, self leveling system is here, right? So you'll auto auto level here. You can scroll through the commands: auto retract, manual mode, auto retract. Um, uh, you can you can extend from here, retract from here. You can operate the jacks independently. You can go to auto hitch height over here. So there's a lot you can do with it. Uh, also, this this is a Bluetooth uh, device here. So you can using this information, you can you can get the app, download the uh, One Control uh, app by uh, by uh, LCI, and uh, you can operate it with your phone or tablet. This is your inverter. I told you how it had a converter and an inverter. So this right there will invert power from 12 volt DC to regular AC current. Okay. Um, your slide outs and everything are run from this panel up here. Let me let me do this here. There we go. Your awning, your your slide rooms, your monitor panels for all your tanks and your levels, your lighting, all that sort of thing is operated from there. And of course, I mentioned that's the inverter. You also have a power converter in this one, which does just the opposite. It converts um, it converts um, 110 AC down to 12 volt DC. That would be right here. So I can see right here. I'll open it up. You got regular household type circuit breakers here, and they're all labeled. Then the power is converted to 12 volt DC here. There's 12 volt fuses and they're all labeled. If any of these fuses were to blow, they'll actually light up. So you can see them glowing through this plastic here, this tinted plastic. Also, as long as you're plugged in, this will, this will keep your battery charged. It'll send so much energy your battery needs and always keep them, both of your batteries are, depends on, or however many batteries you have, it'll automatically keep them charged up. So this is a power converter. The opposite of the inverter. Like I said, this goes from 110 AC down to over to 12 volt DC. The other, the inverter goes from 12 volt DC to 110 AC. Okay. Um, fan, obviously. The toilets, you have to remember that you can't use them dry and you got to have chemicals. So, same for with every RV toilet. You put, when you got a dry black tank, when you just pull to the campsite, you put uh, your chemical right in there, whichever brand you use. You step on the pedal. Um, water will come swirling out and you'll put about a gallon or so of water in the tank. It doesn't have to be exact, you just want some water in there and your chemical before you start using it. You have to do it that way otherwise you'll regret it, trust me. Um, that's obviously your, your, your vacuum. Okay. Thermostat is here, you just basically go through the, go through the modes. Try to always run this stuff on auto. Fan off, air condition, auto. So try to go back. Where was that? I think this is it there. So that's on auto plus cool. So that's the air conditioner. You have the different zones here. Um, change it from. Uh, you can check the inside temperature. You can change it from uh, centigrade and to Fahrenheit back and forth. It's got a clock that you can program. All the usual stuff. All right, your. Uh, microwave works like any other microwave. Um, it uh, uh, also has a built-in um, fan and light. So, okay. Your range, you just spark to light it. I assume he's got gas on. Let me see here. Yes, you can see it lit. So you turn the sparker clockwise. Turn your, turn your gas on here. Turn this clockwise. And it lights. 
I'll tell you, burner, a knob for each burner, of course. But when it comes down to the the oven pile, the oven in the oven pile of light is controlled from here. From the oven knob, you can see down here, all the way to the back. You can see see it's sparking back there. There's a pilot light back there. So what you do is you go to the knob for the oven and you take it to pilot, right? You depress it and hold it. You continue to hold it while you spark this by turning it clockwise. After the, the, uh, the um, flame lights under there, the pilot light, you'll continue to hold this for another 10 seconds and until it heats up, then you'll go to whatever operating temperature you want. It'll cycle as an oven does. When you shut it off, the oven goes off, but so does the pilot light, so you have to relight the pilot light each time you use the oven. Okay. Moving along, you got remotes for everything. TV, sound bar, and then this one is for your fireplace. So the fireplace, um, right now it's at 62. You can, you can um, set the uh, off, low, high, that's the fan speed. I don't know if you can see it from there, right there. That's the fan speed. You can set the temperature. It's got a timer in it. On it, you can just just the appearance of the flame, like you see me doing now. So it's a very very good space heater, and it does have a fan, so it really can kick out when you need it to. All right. So your um, sound bar obviously plays discs and CDs and DVDs. You can stream off the USB, so you can take your all your favorite albums on one stick, for example, and take them all with you. Um, you can hook up wirelessly with Bluetooth and stream from your phone or your tablet. So it does all those things. You have two speaker uh, zones, zone A and zone B, well actually three in this one, A, B, and C. A is this room, B is the bedroom, and C is outside speakers. So there's a lot you could do with it. Also your TV is on a bracket, so it swings out. Um, you got your cable hookup, uh, you have satellite if you're going to use it, antenna, so you've got all the options. Um, let's see, while I look up, obviously you have a fan, but there's also uh, uh, speakers, let's see. Yeah, so your speakers are on the ceiling, and also uh, the sound bar, so um, you have that. Also, your... Um, these, these cushions pull loose, and this is actually a hide -a bed So you pull the cushions loose. This is three panels, so you grab it here, pull it out two panels, put the legs down, fold it back into place, and you've got a hide -a bed um, Your theater seating has uh, vibration, it has heat, a light for it, so it does all those things. Storage. What am I forgetting, Amanda? I don't know either. I think, I think I'm doing all right. This is your LP uh, gas detector. Um, you always want to uh, make sure that it's green like it is. Let me get closer to it so I can see it. So make sure. I'm... Yeah, so this does carbon monoxide and LP gas both. It should always be green like it is. So now if it's not, you get it serviced. I'm going to set it off right now. Goes through self tests. Another one coming up. Okay, back to green. So if it goes off, obviously you take everybody outside, keep the door open, shut the gas off at the front, and then figure out what's going on, okay? And like I said, if it's not green, get it serviced, because it's important. It's hardwired to the battery, so it's always on. All right, so let's move this way. Oh, wow. Bedroom, of course, hookups for your TV, then your master bath up here, which is really, really nice. Shower, works like any other shower. Sinks work like any other sinks. I explained to you the toilet back there, same principle. The black tank is directly below, or the, yeah, the black tank is directly below, down there. So when it's empty, when you're first starting out to use it on your trip, you put the chemical in there, a gallon of water, it could be two gallons, it doesn't matter, but the bottom line is you have to have some water in there with chemical when you start using it. Okay, now this is obviously cracked. I don't know what's what's been said or done about that, so we will um, make sure. I'm sure it's noted, but I'll make sure that we we have to replace that. Obviously, 
GFCI. There's a couple of them in this trailer. One is in the back. Uh, all the plugs are wired through one of these, one or the other. So keep in mind that you'll, no matter what plug, if, you, if it pops, you're going to reset it in one of these here. All right. And you got a big, big, obviously a, a bedroom. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. A closet. It could be a bedroom. You never know. But it's a closet. Um, I'm looking around here. Okay. This is a water closet, obviously, for a, a washer-dryer combo. It looks like he's installed a vent, I would say. I haven't checked it out, but it looks like it's, it's pre-plumbed, obviously, and now there's a vent in it, so... Okay. All right, good. This is obviously zone 2. There's a second air conditioner up here. Um, this is how you operate your antenna. It just rotates. This is a sensor for your, for your climate control in zone 2. Okay. All right. So I think I've pretty much covered it. Uh, first of all, thanks for buying your trailer here at National RV Detroit. Um, also, I want to say this is how you lock your refrigerator doors into place with this thing here. So when you're traveling, you want to screw it in right there and tighten it up so the doors in the bottom drawer doesn't come flying open and dent it when you're traveling. Okay. All right, um, so thanks for purchasing your trailer at National RV Detroit. Remember what I said about inspecting the roof and the seals? You have to inspect it every 90 days. Um, that's what the manufacturers suggest, so uh, if you stick with that, it'll always be, if you ever have to retouch it, uh, you can do that. It'll always be dry inside, so make sure you, uh, you inspect your roof and the seals, okay? Thank you very much.